how you feel about this Kim Porter book? They send this on Amazon. It's a bestseller. You heard about it? Well, I don't know if this book came from her estate. I don't know if somebody had the right to put this out about that. But if you see some of the excerpts in the book, you know that Kim didn't write the book. You know that they wasn't from Kim diary. If you know Kim and you've been around Kim, there's no way that she was going to do, and if she was doing a tell-all book, and if she was doing stuff like that, she wasn't going to do anything that talk as sexually like that when she had two boys and two girls. And she was a mother first. She wasn't going to say the stuff that she was said about Puff in the manner that is written in that book. She wasn't going to tell Puff's secrets in that detail if she has secrets to tell about Puff, and we know she do. So I believe, because I heard certain situations in that book, even with myself, that I knew it wasn't true. How we first met, you understand? We first met, Kim was trying to cook uh, some shrimps at a Super Bowl party at Diddy's house. So they was trying to say that Kim lived and Puff, they had, they had a house together. They never had a house together. Kim lived in her apartment. Puff lived in his apartment. It's always been like that since the time I've known them. So it was a lot of stuff in the, in the book that I know Kim didn't write and Kim didn't say. Even with the part with Quincy Jones' daughter, when they said that she was about to drink a cup of pee at one of the awards show, which is true. During the awards show, they was about to put producers of the year. Puff could not wait. He had to use the bathroom. He took the picture off one of the things, poured the water out, went up under the table, and pissed in the picture. When he pissed in the picture, he put it on the table. He put it back on the table. He should have left the shit on the floor or something, but he put it back on the table. Khadijah, I think Khadijah, one of Quincy Jones' daughter, came over to the table. And they were just laughing and talking and everything like that. And nobody was really paying attention to the whole shit. You understand what I'm saying? So then Khadijah grabbed a glass. Kadada. Kadada? Yeah, Kadada. Okay. Okay, bro. Listen, don't kill me. Don't kill the messenger. I didn't I know Kadada, Khadijah, whatever. I'm sorry, man. But Kadada. Kadada came over to the table. She sat down. She was talking to her and puff. And I, I got I have the picture on that table. I have that, I have the picture. I might send it to you so you could post it or whatever. So now, people not paying attention and everything like that. So when she sat down, she was talking to Puff and everything like that. And then all of a sudden, she grabbed the glass and grabbed the pitcher and started pouring the piss in the glass. It didn't, it didn't dawn on me that that was the glass, that was the picture with the, the P in it. And then Anthony Wolf Jones, it wasn't me. And then the book, it said it was Jean stopped her. I did not stop her. Anthony Wolf Jones stopped her from drinking it. So it's a lot of inconsistency with that book and what they saying. Now, I hear it's a good book. It's good for entertainment. If that's what you into, I feel you. And I'm not hating on it. Not at all. It's still making my world a bodyguard and a hip-hop star. And life after death when bodyguard and hip-hop star, I'm still selling two, 300 books a month on Amazon. Make sure you purchase it. Yeah, I haven't read the book, but what I'm seeing on social media is crazy, man. They saying that Kim Porter, she was sleeping with Justin Bieber. Diddy, he was sleeping with Abby Shore. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's crazy, yo. Yeah, man.
And, and you heard Al came out and said that was a bunch of BS. Nah, uh-uh. You know, they didn't even like each other. They hated each other, bro. I was still married to Kim. They had, in the book, I think, Puff and Kim being married. How Kim gonna make that mistake? Yeah, the guy that wrote the book, he claiming that one of Kim Porter's friends gave him a flash drive with her diary on there. So, I don't know. If anyone, friend, or anybody has something that was Kim Porter's, it would have been Kimora. And, and I don't believe Kimora would, would have gave him that without going through it and looking at it herself. When I heard that the book had Diddy having sex with Albie Shore, that's when I knew the book was bullshit. Yeah, he was just, he was just they was doing too much. It seemed like they was trying to um it seemed like whoever wrote the book was really out to get Diddy and didn't care about the means of getting him, to painting him the monster that he may be. Uh but to disrespect Kim and what she did as a mother and who she was as a mother, I don't think that was right. I think she does she does she deserved she deserved better. But they can sue the guy that put the book out, right? Well, it has to be her estate. Whoever over, over her estate, they got to find out who's the ghostwriter of that book. You know what I'm saying? Who put it out? And then they need to, they need to put in some suits. 